Well, I decided why not. I'm already in the painting mode after completing painting of the walls and the mega shed. I might as well go ahead and do the cabinets because that's the only thing remaining. So I've got enough stain that I can go ahead and stain all the cabinets and uh, yeah then that'll be done. So I've already got my drop cloth out and got my stain. Just gotta mix it. I'm using the cherry stain number 235 I guess that pretty common in uh, Home Depot I know. I don't know about Lowe's. And I'm going to use this older brush that I'll probably wind up tossing once this job is done. But uh, I know you can use a cloth to stain cabinets. It's supposed to go on better but I don't have a clean one. All I got is that nasty thing. So I'd rather I'd rather just go ahead and do the brush and uh, coat all the cabinets. So. I don't think I'm going to get the sides. I'm going to probably wind up putting some glue on on the side eventually, which I don't have, and then I'll just stain it. But I'm just going to get the front surface, you know, basically facing out. So that's that should do it. So let me go ahead and mix my stain. Okay, let's go and get this little can open. Next, we'll use some paint thinner, soak my old rag in case I need it. And do the other side too. said so I'll commence to staining. Well, that's a world of difference. Oh yeah. Huh, time consuming but looks good. Oh yeah. Yeah that's a world of difference there. Oh, about a third of the way done. Yeah, that's a world of difference there. Alright, well, I'm about halfway there. Still got the tall boys to do. But, uh, yeah, it's coming along nicely. I love this cherry stain. It really seems to bring out the, the grains of the wood and 
all that because these are like oak cabinets. Of course, these are what you get from Home Depot and Lowe's. They're pretty cheaply made, but still some of the wooden parts that uh, are like an oak oak material. Man, this is uh, they turn out really good with uh, with stain on them. So, all right. Well, I'll go ahead and continue with the. Uh, the pantry cabinets and the overhead. And one thing I've been noticing as I'm staining, of course the oak outer frame really takes the stain well, but this cheap Luan particle board stuff or whatever that is doesn't take the stain real well. And of course it's real flimsy as you know on top of that. I mean, you know, the outside looks pretty good, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Cabinets just aren't made like they used to be back in the day, that's for sure. Well, that's looking better. Well, like I said, the Luan flat paneling in the middle is, yeah, it doesn't take the stain as well as the oak pieces. But it's looking better than it did. Ah, continuing on. Well, the stain's taking better to the inside of this cabinet. Of course, this is a newer one. Maybe they changed up the material or whatever, I'm not sure, but yeah, the stain's looking a lot better on this door. I haven't done this side yet, but yeah, it's a different material for sure. Oh yeah, that's a world of difference. Still got the top one to get, but yeah, these cabinets are from 2011 when we built the Mega Shed originally. And I don't know what material they use, but the thin Luan in the center is pretty uh, pretty cheap. Didn't take the stain all that well. I mean, it's better than it looked originally, but man, this this has got the wood grain and everything in it. And uh, yeah, it's it's actually feels more like real thin paneling board. So yeah, that looks that looks excellent. Oh yeah, I think I'm done. These turned out really nice, even on the inside. Not bad. Yeah, I think uh, this project is done. Finally. Now, like I said, I've still got sides that need to get some of that Luan put on, and then I can stain them. But. Uh, yeah, they're right there. But that's not urgent. Yeah, this side as well. So, now the front face, that's what I wanted to get done. It's done. And uh, turned out very nicely. <clears throat> but yeah, that's a world of difference from these cabinets to the new cabinets there. So, not too bad. Oh, well, this staining project is done. I'm going to clean up and uh, go relax for the rest of my Sunday. So, until the next thrilling video, adios.